Go ahead. Yeah. Our yeah. northern foundation, its footer is gone, the wall is gone, so it, it as well as some of the ground underneath the foundation. Um, so we would have to get it shored up and build a whole new uh, foundation on that side. Um, throughout the basement, there is cracking on most of the walls. Um, and um, we had already had previous foundation work um, and those would have to be inspected to make sure that they're still uh, sound. <laughs> it all comes down to funding. We, we're middle income. We don't make a lot of money. We both work um, manual. He's a truck driver, I'm a nurse. We can't afford 100,000 in repairs and that's what it's looking like right now is 100,000. So yeah. we, right now we're kind of at a standstill waiting for the city to tell us or and FEMA to tell us how much they're willing to help us with, what the city is willing to help us um, before we can even move forward with any projects. Yep. Yeah. It's, it is kind of a 50-50, I think, for both of us. Like, you know, we would love to return here and be back in our area where we've raised the kids and, you know, this community and the little house we built. But at the same time, you know, our worry, and with them, with them, I'm sure the rest of these guys is, are they gonna do it to us again? Are we gonna have no warning? Are they gonna put all this water right back on us? Are, are we gonna be on our own if they did? Or, you know, that's, I'm sure a lot of the <laughs> big question that a lot of us around here are asking, but I mean, a lot of, you know, I think we would at least try to get back in here, live maybe a couple years and then probably try to sell it and <laughs> move on to something a little bit farther away from the water <laughs> at least. But yeah, yeah, we're definitely holding on to hopes that we can get back in here one day. We had blown up our little kiddie pool. We were hanging out with the kids, just enjoying the warm weather. Um, one of our neighbors came down the road saying, hey, they're going to have a press conference at around 2.30, and it sounds like they're going to be shutting down the interstate. So I did tune into the press conference. Um, at that time, I also sent my in-laws around the city to look for <laughs> drain plugs, which it took them quite a few stops to find one. Um, and just because we were like, maybe the, there might be brown water, um, nothing to the extent that it came in at, but um, we started watching and they didn't say anything concerning where it was gonna be a large flood or anything that we needed to evacuate. I think most they said was the ground water. Um, so I did start prepping. I did get three bag or three sets of clothes for everybody just in case like the electricity went out. Um, had that ready to go in a to-go bag. I did take up all of our important documents that were in our basement, um, but if we would have known that it was gonna be this bad, we had family in the neighborhood all day that day, you know, enjoying the yeah. pool with us, that we would have been able to get it up and out of our basement, everything out of our basement, mm -hmm. and would have been able to salvage. Mm -hmm. um, when it got closer to six, um, my, my husband had left to go um, fill up the car with gas just in case and then like we had to leave with both cars mm -hmm. and he said the bur the what is it called the berm levy. the berm levy was getting put up and that the water he could see the water coming in so we decided to go around the corner and just kind of walk like to see where it's at mm -hmm. um, Down there to the left. um we had taken a walk with the kids and we saw it coming in pretty quick and so we turned back around came back to our neighborhood and was chatting with our neighbors down the street and was wondering if um they were what their thoughts on all this were and um we all kind of came to the conclusion that it might be good to leave mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um we That's got back one. to the house and, and my bike malcolm went around yeah. in his bike and That's he saw I... that it was coming around the corner and i saw that it was coming through our back door or our back yard and mm -hmm. so we had about five ten minutes to back, pack our car up get the kids and the dogs mm -hmm. in the car and leave um, we got out before the water touched our tires but our neighbor to the south of us she was in ankle deep water trying to get her kids into her minivan um, mm. before leaving.